is the co-owner of two great stores in Stamford, Connecticut. One is the Antique and Artisan Center, where I go for great furniture, mirrors, bric-brac, lamp bases, like this one. And the other is the accessory store, where I find accessories for decorating, like this lampshade, which I actually prefer to the one that came on the lamp. Uh, Mark Candido has some great advice for choosing the perfect lampshade, amongst other advice, of course. Please welcome him to the show. I'm so happy you're on. You, Mark. And Mark, uh, I think one of the most most jarring things in a, in a room can be the wrong lampshade. Absolutely. I mean, you can go into a room that's perfectly beautiful, and then you look at the lamp, and it has either a shade that's too big or too small or the wrong color or the wrong shape for the base. I mean, and, uh, and it is a challenge. Your store is such a wonderful place to go. I have had no trouble. And within, like, five minutes, I always find the right shade. But you did the perfect, perfect thing, Martha. You brought the lamp base right. to the store, to, right. the, to our store. But, you know, I bought the lamp base, two of them, at your other store. That's what I mean. When you, when <laughs> so you walked easy. in, when you walked in. I walked in, across yes. the parking lot. This was on Sunday. I had this challenge to find two or a lamp. I kept getting um, emails from Lenore Welby, my producer, and she kept saying, Brian, don't forget to bring in a lamp. And I didn't have a lamp that didn't have a shade. Right. So here I found the perfect but pair. But some people, some people will walk into a lamp shade store with the old shade. You did the right thing by bringing the yeah. lamp base. Because we can, we can look together at it and determine what's the best Why shade. Why don't I like that shade? Uh, to me, it looks a little heavy on the yeah. base. It looks a little weighty. I think that this shade... That and it's not, it wasn't the right color either. Right. Uh, and this is a brand new shade, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, pretty, pretty new. So that, that we will give to someone. <laughs> I, like, I like your choice better. Okay, uh, so then, really, a... within five minutes, I had such nice help on, on Sunday at the uh -huh. store. It was a... Oh, yeah, look how This is nice. a square bell and a Do taupe. we have to lower it at all, or do you think that's the right height? I think the harp height could come down a lot, yeah. a little bit, but yeah. uh, actually this has an adjusting feature it on does. the lamp yeah, itself. That's why I bought the lamps. I yeah. love that adjusting feature. Yeah, just a little yeah. bit, I think. Yeah. yeah. Do you so. like that better, everybody? Yes. And, Good. And, the, and, the, and the soft taupe color works very well with the mercury glass. Well, it not only that, it. all the other lamps in that room in East Hampton have this color shade. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really like having the same color shade in a room. Do you yeah. like that? I think it, it's uh, soothing yeah. to the yeah. eye. And so that looks really good. Yeah, I like that. And not very expensive. And how much is that one about? Uh, well, we have a couple versions of this. We have one made here, which is probably about $65. Uh, we Very also have an import reasonable. that might be around $40. Uh, yep. Well, I'm, I'm extremely pleased with that, with that selection. So let's take um, a also... look at the lamp on our back table right over there. Now, Mark asked if I liked that kind of shape. What do you call that shape? Uh, that's a pagoda. It's a silk shade. Uh, it's a brick red. Uh, makes a great statement in, in the uh, space. It pulls a little bit of the color from the base. The base oh, is I... kind of dark, but there's a little bit of that color in the base, so it really works well. It really adds a warmth to the to the space. That and you have in. a beautiful finial on there too. Finials are these little um, little doodads that screw the lampshade onto the harp or right. the or whatever. What else what would you call that one? It's not exactly a harp. Uh, well, the um, this would be the cluster at yeah, the top the cluster. of the lamp. Okay. But the nice thing about finials too, you want them to make a, a little bit of a statement, but you don't want them to be the first thing that your eye goes to. Right. First, you should see the base? Absolutely. Okay. So let's look at some more lamps. Sure. I brought a couple examples of uh, other lamp forms. This is a very traditional uh, blue and white vase. Yeah, like a pretty, kind of, a pretty vase. Yeah, smaller like scale, that. kind of slender. Now, can um, I mention that you also rewire and refit bases and um, these, what do you call these? Can not, it's not a canopy, really, but... Uh, the vase it? cap. And, the vase and cap. it's a good idea, especially if you're buying a lamp that's uh, from a, uh, you know, a yard sale or an antique store. To at least bring it to a lamp shop and have it checked, make sure that it's safe, that right. it doesn't need to be rewired. But I brought a couple of choices for shades for this particular lamp. Um, this is a box pleat uh, silk in an ivory. That would be pretty in a bedroom. Yeah, very soft, uh, very if you have, if you dressy. Have sort of blue and white toile or chintz in your room, that would be okay. And then uh, an alternative might be something like this, which is a stretched and piped uh, oval. Uh, I like that one better. Yeah, I do too. And this is a little bit longer frame. So this is a perfect yeah. uh, place, I think, to show everybody um, what you can do at the top of the lamp. Um, you either can change out the harp or we can add a little extender uh, onto uh, the top, which is called a shade riser. So by screwing the shade good. riser on, we've raised the height that the shade sits at. Now if you oh, look straight much ahead better, much at it, better. you can actually see the detail of yeah. the top of the lamp. Now that would be really nice on an end table in a living room. That would be great. 
So, do you have a pair of those? Uh, I do. Okay. And we also, <laughs> if you slide that one over. Oh, I'm not buying any more lamps. Not right now. Uh, we've got something a little more modern. Uh, oh, that's... This is a chrome candlestick lamp. Uh, sort of traditional form in the candlestick, but a little more modern with a geometric shape. The accessory store sells lamps, beautiful new lamps, as well as some vintage and older lamps, right? Yes. And, uh, and all the shades and all these other things, the extenders and the harps. Everything and the, you need, all the little parts. Uh, this would be one option, which is a, a little modern uh, short drum in I black like that paper. One. Yeah, and if you nice. notice, this has a little uh, gray piping around the edge. Yeah, it it's actually the... a tape. Picks up the and it has a silver lining the on the color. inside. Yeah. What uh, about this one? This is a little um, more textural. This has a, I like uh, the black one. a hemp. Yeah. Yeah, I like that black one. And uh, again, if you're going to use this one, this would be a longer frame. So w when we change from one to the other, you'd want to increase the height by either changing the harp or adding another one of the extenders. Perfect. And I want to just show uh, you how the best way to change the harp would be. Oh, okay. Um, at the bottom of the harp, you have these little stays. Right. So you'd bring the stays up and then squeeze the harp together and that will release it so from easy. the harp base, which is uh, called the saddle. Right. So and easy. then you can take the new harp, easiest thing is just flip it upside down and that makes the stays go on this side of your hand. And then squeeze it together, bring it in, and then let the stays drop back down and that will hold the harp snugly so into the easy. lamp. So you can do a lot of these things yourself. And uh, well, thank you, Mark. This is really great, an illuminated le illuminating lesson on lampshades. I hope everybody watching will take a trip in person or online to the accessory store in Stamford, Connecticut. We'll be right back. Thanks. That's great.